Just a weird pattern for today. Wow. And they still didn't bring it up to that. Got 253. They didn't bring it up to that 260. You know, I thought for sure they would go after that gap. It's that 260 to 263. But, uh, so just quick, then we'll get on with the weekend, huh? But, uh, the most I've seen on this chart all the way through that I looked was five days of this straight across. And if you go back, now th this is the five minute chart, but even the top of this is, you know, five days, but then you, you had a, some major movement here. But then if you go down to the bottom of this one, it's five days from any kind of major movement. Like this was coming down, then you had five days, and then it went up. Same thing on, on this. Five days right on the top of this. So you had it running up five days across the top, and then it ran down. And it's like that all the way through it. It was roughly five days before. This had a solid run up for more, but then it didn't have nothing on the bottom. But I mean, I would look back as far as I could go and uh, there isn't any more than that. Most of them have four days. There isn't any more than that five days straight across. So next week, we're going to get some major movement one way or the other. Hopefully it's up. You know, if they can hold it above this trend line, we could see this, we could see this make a major move back up towards that three by like Tuesday. It's got to do something. I think this was, uh, honestly, I think this was a like desperation of shorts. Because there was no real buying volume. And, you know, they should have shorted that down. I was shocked to see this second rip down here. They pretty, much, they pretty well hammered it there. I was surprised to see that. I thought when it come back across the VWAP, it would keep going up all day. But then it just hung around the VWAP the rest of the day. I mean, we had good strength holding holding it there. So I mean, they tried a few times. You can see, you can see by the vol volume bars. I mean, they were trying to knock it down, but we were holding it right up next to that VWAP pretty good. So we'll wait and see what happens in after hours here and. Next week should be the week. We find out one way or the other which way this is going to go. You know, are they going to run it down to two? They might try Monday, get it, break it out of the trend, and then they'll run it down to the two. And But I think if they run it up next week, you know, depending on how the market is, if the market's a lot better, we could see we could see a short squeeze next week if the market's a lot better. I mean, it was just draggy today. Nothing was moving. They had them stupid data thing again, whatever the hell that was today. What's next? Killer bees? Nobody can get into their workplace? That's just dumb. I, I don't know. It's just me. I know it's a data thing and inflation and whatever, but well, let's hope for the best next week. I'm thinking Tuesday. So I'll put I'll, I'll put that on my mind. Tuesday, a squeeze Tuesday. How's that sound? We'll throw that out there Friday, Friday on this Friday. I'll say I predict a squeeze on Tuesday. 
Now don't be trading because I said that. I'm just I'm just kidding. I'm just messing around, trying to make light of a rather boring day. It was like watching paint dry. But uh, okay, everyone, have a good weekend and. Maybe I'll make another video this weekend or something after I look this over a little bit and see if I can come up with any scenarios. But have a good weekend.